His mom was a stray. Oh my God. He doesn't really act like a cat. He acts like a dog, cat, slash like a human mix. The keys. I'm Erin, and this is Leapshin's story for GeoBeats. My friend sent me a picture of Leapshin from our local shelter, and he was this tiny little orange fluff ball. So without telling my boyfriend Dan what we were doing, we went there and immediately fell in love. Dan held him first. He didn't really want a cat, but once he held him, he was like, yeah, let's let's take him home. I've wanted a cat my whole life, but my family is allergic, so I was never able to get one growing up. And I just could not believe something could be so cute. On the drive home, they gave him to us in a carrier, but he just slept in our laps. He would go back and forth between our laps. And just how he looked at us, he was so happy and so grateful. And even the night we brought him home, he slept with us. He nuzzled underneath the covers and slept right between us. And that's where he sleeps every night now. It was just meant to be. My mom actually had a cat named Leapshin when she was my age, and I kind of stole the name because I thought it was so cute. It means sweetheart or closest to my heart in German. We live in the mountains in Colorado. We got him and he was so curious with the window. He always just sat by the screen door and he would meow and meow and meow and cry. So we trained him on a leash and we took him on his first hike when he was 10 weeks old and he loved it and he did so well. Leapshin is really, really outgoing. He is really clever, he's really bright. He always wants to be a part of everything. He loves being the center of attention. Breakfast? If we take him out to a restaurant, he likes to go around and meet everyone. We haven't found something he doesn't like yet. He's gone skiing. He loves the wind in his whiskers and he wears little goggles and he doesn't mind them at all. Now he knows that when he has his harness and leash on, it's time to go outside. Sometimes he'll try to grab it. We have it hanging up. He'll try to jump at it. And that's how we know that he wants to go outside. We take him out every day, at least for a few walks, because he sits by the door screaming to go out. So we have to, or he drives us crazy. 99% <laughs> of the time, people say, is that a cat? Is that a cat on a leash? Adventure cats are becoming more common, but it's still surprising for people. He's like an ambassador for cats, because we think everyone should get a cat, or a lot of cats. <laughs> a tweet for you. Here's a treat for you. We love being with him so much. Put your hands up. We wanted to give him the best life we possibly could. We always say he rescued us. He's a part of our family. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I just love him. We're just really, really connected. I've never felt this with a pet. He teaches us so much. You can find an amazing companion in a rescue. Rescue animals just have a different level of special to them. They're more grateful, they're resilient. They know that you've saved them. I feel like so many of them have the coolest personalities. <laughs> I hope I'm a cat in my next life. <laughs>